Hey you guys, it's Lauren. Welcome back. So today's video is going to be a monthly favorites video and these are my favorite products and fashion items that have just kept my life just simple and easy. Things that have helped me get out the door. I've been super busy with the baby and my toddler. It's It's been a blast. It's been so fun with the new baby and my little girl is, she's adjusting, but you know, she's busy. She just wants to be out of the door at like the crack of dawn these days. So I've been reaching for makeup items that are just quick and easy, no fuss. And I also have a fashion unboxing. This is a brand new subscription service to me called Fashion. And I'm super excited they're sponsoring this video today. They were super generous and sent me out a box. So I wanted to share with you guys my experience with them and I'm really excited because you guys know I love Stitch Fix but I think this might be the even better version and even cheaper version too. The quality is just as good as a matter of fact they use a lot of the same clothing companies that Stitch Fix does but it's a lot cheaper. So I'm excited to share that with you guys and all this fun makeup. So yeah, lots to talk about. So we'll go ahead and get started. I'll do the unboxing first and then I'll do some inserts so you guys can see the clothing on. But here is the box. This is the fashion subscription box. Uh, let me grab a pair of scissors here. So like I said, this is cheaper than Stitch Fix. Your first month is free and then any month after that is $15 and that $15 that you pay up front goes, is credited towards whatever items you decide to keep. But if you don't want to keep any of the items, you can send the whole box back and you won't be charged anything. Now I did notice there is a $50 hold on your credit card, but you will get that back within like three to four days. But I know that turns some people off, but just be prepared for that. But like I said, the first month is free and after that it's $15. So it has a little card in here and then there's your prepackaged envelope to send everything back. So when you order your box, you fill out a whole style profile. You can say, you know, what your style is, whether it be bohemian, traditional, casual, if you dress up for work, if you would prefer more dresses, and you can request specific items in your profile, which I thought was pretty cool. Now for me, because I'm two months postpartum, I asked for flowy tops, you know, I'm still trying to hide my midsection here. So flowy tops and then also, what did I ask for specifically? Oh, white capri skinny jeans distressed. So, and I did notice that I did get them. Another cool feature that Stitch Fix does not have yet, you could actually preview all five items and if you didn't like an item, you could return the item and they can fit you with something else that you'd prefer. Now, I completely dropped the ball on that. I, I don't think I checked my email for like two, three days and I noticed they sent me out the list of items I was going to get and I there was two things I wasn't too fond of we'll see how they look on but I, I wrote them back too late and I never did get to exchange my items so I was kind of stuck with all five but everything looked pretty good I, it looks like I got my flowy tops and I did see that I got my capris so I'll show you guys each item individually and then I'll try them on so I first got this it looks like a flowy top with this tortoiseshell button down in the middle which I really like I feel like that style trend is everywhere and it's just it's really flattering and slimming I like that color too it's like a pinky purple it looks more purple online that looks really pretty the fit looks nice too and it has these adjustable straps so I appreciate that and then this next top this is one of the tops that I wanted to exchange but I didn't get the chance but oh wait this actually looks I don't know I think I might like this so I told them in my profile that I liked floral tops, I like the stripe trend, I feel like stripes are, is another thing that's everywhere these days. And I saw this top and I'm like, oh, I don't know if it's quite my style, but I'll try it on and we'll see how it looks. It actually, the fit looks like it's going to be pretty nice. I like the colors too, the pink and the green pastels are really pretty. And then I got this cold shoulder top, it's a purple and white pattern and then you have your cold shoulder here and it's nice and flowy. Oh, and it has a twist tie at the bottom. I love that trend. I do that with all my shirts now, even just flowy tops. I feel like it really dresses them up. This is another top that I wanted to exchange. So it was that um, striped top and then this kimono. I told them that I wanted a kimono duster and they went pretty literal with the word kimono. So yeah, I don't know if this is quite my style, but I don't know, like I said, it could be cute on, but it has, it's a denim kimono top and it has this embroidery down the middle and then there's embroidery in the sleeves. It feels really good quality though, like really heavy. What brand is this? Skies are blue clothing from Los Angeles. So yeah, the, all the, the quality feels really nice. So, okay, we'll see how that looks on. And then I'm excited about these. I got these white capri pants. Oh, these are really nice and stretchy. Okay, 
size 28. We'll see how these fit. I went to TJ Maxx and Marshalls the other day and well, my sizes, I am a lot bigger than I thought I was pre-pregnancy, which is fine, like whatever. But yeah, I don't know. I might have to squeeze into these, we'll see. But they look really cute. I like how the bottom of the pants are distressed and then it has a couple, you know, distressing areas on the side, which I really like. So yeah, I'm excited about these pants. I'm excited to see how they look on and we'll see about those other tops. So here is that purpley pink flowy top. I really love this. I feel like you could kind of dress it up or dress it down. I feel like you could tie it on the side and it's nice and flowy too. I like the adjustable straps. It might be a little too low on its own, but I put an undershirt underneath of it and I think it looks really nice. I love it. And the jeans, I actually love them. I thought they were going to be too tight, but I mean, don't get me wrong. They're tight, but I like that they're stretchy. They feel really comfy and I like the distressing. They're not too like obnoxiously distressed where there's like fray jean hanging down, but just enough. And I like the frayed detail on the feet or not the feet the bottom of the pants too and then here's that cold shoulder purple top I love this it's so comfy I feel like it's casual but yet you could dress it up at the same time it's kind of like nautical in a way but not because of it's pastel I just I really like the striped design I love the cold shoulder it could transition into fall it's also nice for the summer because it's so lightweight it'd be cute with shorts but yeah I love it Okay, so I totally regret what I said about this top. I think this is so cute. I don't know, there's just something so fun about it. In the picture, it just kind of looked like maybe a little drab, but in person, oh my gosh, I just think it's so fun. You could wear it long, or you can kind of bunch it up on the top to make it a little shorter. And then here's that kimono. I actually think it's kind of cute. I don't know if it's necessarily my style, like I said. I might be passing this on to a friend, but another piece that feels like great quality too, it's denim, but it's not that stiff denim. It has some like flow, some airiness to it. Okay, so as far as the pricing goes, for five items, if I were to pay full price, it would be $206 with a five item discount of 30%. It takes off $61 and it comes to a total of $104.20. So. Pretty good for five items, including really good quality denim jeans. So the green and pink striped top is $30. That's pretty good considering, well, I don't know, maybe I would spend a little less at Marshall's for a top like that. But $30 for, again, something that feels like a dressy top. You could dress it up or dress it down. is pretty good. And that purple and white striped top is $39. So... I don't know, I feel like that might be a little high for that. I guess just because it's more of a casual top, but still not bad. And then these jeans, really great pricing. Those white denim jeans are $52. Um, they're by the company Just Black. But they feel like high-end jeans, so super impressed by those. That they were by far my most favorite item in the box, so I'm so excited about those jeans. I'm going to get a ton of wear out of them, and I think that white, the not the white top, the striped top looks so cute with them, so really excited about that. Okay, and then that kimono top, that denim kimono is $40, which I actually, I think that's a little underpriced. Even though it wasn't my style, I feel like you would see that on display in anthropology that looks like something you would see in a higher-end store really nice just not my style and then the button-down sleeveless top that purple top is $37 I definitely would pay $37 for that top I love that top I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of that the straps on it feel really great quality as weird as that sounds but the adjustable part did you ever get those flimsy adjustable straps that never stay in place that top actually stays you can adjust it for whatever height you want on your chest and it, it really stays Put, so I appreciate that and I think it's super cute. So I'm really happy with this box, super impressed by the jean quality, the top quality was really nice. A couple things just weren't my style like that kimono top, but the pricing I think is great. The fact that 30% off takes off 60 bucks is awesome. So I don't know, Stitch Fix. The style selection and the quality is just as good. And then I love that you get the 25% off when you buy three or four items. And then the fifth item, you get the full 30% off. And then also they donate to an animal shelter. They donate a dollar for every fashion box sent. So I think that's great. I'm really excited about this subscription service. This is a fun unboxing. We'll get to the makeup favorites now. Like I said, I'm all about quick and easy makeup these days. And this the Hourglass Veil Setting Powder. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited I picked this up. I don't know what took me so long to get on this bandwagon, but this powder is definitely worth the hype. It's, it's pretty pricey, it's $46, but 
I don't think any powder compares to this. My other favorite was always the Cover FX and the Glossier powder, but there's just something different about this powder. It's like, it's more radiant, it, it gives almost, it really gives that filter to your face, like it blurs everything, and it's just amazing that you can get that radiant finish from a setting powder, it's just so good. If there's just something about this, I feel like any other powder when I apply them, I'm almost nervous in a way because with my skin being dry at baseline, I'm just worried that it's going to dry out my skin even further and enhance any flakiness or texture I have. But this just smooths everything out. It doesn't like sink into your pores. That's another thing. I feel like a lot of powders can almost like enhance my pores and sink into my pores. But this just floats over your skin and it gives the most like radiant finish but yet mattifying at the same time. I'm looking a little shiny right now. Let me actually show you what I mean. Let me just take some of the shine down on my chin. But see how like there's still a little bit of sheen, but it doesn't completely blur that shine. It just, I don't know, it just smooths out your skin and it's just such a flattering powder. Underneath the eyes, it just smooths everything out and it really brightens. Now I do notice I can't use this all over my face. It does have a little bit of a flashback. I wore this to a wedding recently and I noticed in all the pictures my body looked completely tan and my face was really white and actually I'm looking on camera now and I think that's the case today. So it does have some flashback but I think I'm just going to try and avoid that from now on by just slathering a lot of bronzer on after it but it's just ugh, such a good powder. I'm so glad I picked this up. I feel like it's going to last a long time also. I talked about this before, but the one thing that drives me nuts about this is the packaging. You guys were all so sweet and informed me that I was using it the complete wrong way. There's this little well at the top, so you're supposed to dunk it over and kind of tap out the powder. But I still have an issue with the fact that the well is so tiny, so you almost have to squeeze and make your brush a little bit more narrow to dip into the powder if you're using a sponge. So yeah, you can't really get a big fluffy brush in there or like a big thick sponge. So that's my only issue, but other than that, I I love the powder. It's, I just love the lightweight feel and I just love that it literally smooths out your face. It's so good. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed, the brush I used to apply that powder is this new brush by Doll10. This is Molly's collection. Makeup Molly is a YouTuber. She also has this awesome Instagram. She has awesome pictures. Her reviews are so good. But she is one of my good friends here on YouTube and she was kind enough to send out this PR package for me with her new brush line and oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this line. I've been testing out these brushes and I'm super impressed. So first of all, the set is $39 and it comes with this cute little gold package and all the brushes, you get eight eye brushes in here. They're cruelty free, they're synthetic and I'm telling you, these are some of the softest brushes I've ever used. So I always used to talk about the Jaclyn Hill Morphe brushes and I still use them, but they're, I always said they're a little bit scratchy. There's no scratchiness to these whatsoever. I don't know how they got them so soft. But this thick brush here, this Prepping Perfector, I thought I would use this one the least but I'm reaching for this the most it's such a fun unique shape so it's great for setting the eye and it's also I've been using it a lot for setting powder it's almost like a huge flat shader brush so it's super narrow but really big and fluffy so it fits really nicely around the corners of your nose underneath your eye it's just a really cool shape I really like this and then these two blending brushes are two other of my favorites. And the reason I love them so much is because they're super fluffy, but yet they have this little tip on the top of it. So you can kind of use it to diffuse your eye look out, but you can also use the tip to get a more detailed look. So it really gets into those outer edges really easily. So it's great for detail work. And then you have your little, what would you even call this brush? The line definer. This one is great for underneath the eye, for smudging out eyeliner. And then this one I've been using a lot too. This one is called the Detail Dazzler. And this is great for just cutting out the crease. I've been using this for concealer. It's that perfect little eye shape to get in those inner corners. They're so soft. I love the quality of these. And I mean, if you want to try out some more things by Dal 10. Have you guys ever looked into that brand before? I know they're big on QVC. They're pretty famous for, I think it's their one foundation too that everybody loves. And they have a ton of other brushes on their site as well. Let me know if you guys have tried anything else by Dal 10. But yeah, I've been having a blast trying those out. So definitely check those out. And then next up, the Glossier Brow Flick. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is my new favorite brow product. This has just made me like up my brow game, 
but not like I'm not putting any extra effort in my, into my brows. It's just so easy to use this. I love it and it's fun too because you can literally just, just like the name says, flick it onto your eyebrows and it distributes the product so nicely and so evenly. I was kind of scared of these marker type brow products. I thought it would end up looking like I had tattooed brows or something but it's a really nice like light natural look which is what I like I like my brows look to fine but I don't want them to look too heavy too unnatural so I just love this it just makes doing my brows so much easier and I would say I like this more than the Urban Decay Brow Blade. I could not for the life of me find a shade that matched my brows in the Brow Blade collection. Every shade was just too warm toned. It just, I don't know, I just felt like they just made my brows look red almost. But this brown is perfect. It's perfectly cool toned. It's just, it matches my brows so perfectly. And it's just called brown and they only have three shades. So I think this would be a really good universal brown. If you're a deep brunette, I think this would match you really well. Even if your hair is black, I think this would match you. Even if your hair is blonde, I think you could go light handed with this and get like a nice medium toned brown. They have a taupe version as well. And then I think, I think they do have a black, but it seemed like their colors are really nice and universal. And I just, I don't know, I love this pen so much. I'm so glad I picked it up. So yeah, this has been my favorite. It's just easy for on the go and it lasts too. It almost like not, it wasn't as quite as long lasting as the brow blade for me, but it does kind of almost, the ink like sits onto your skin. It comes off easily with a cleanser, but you can rub your brow and the color stays put. So I like that as well. It's not going to smudge throughout the day, but yeah, it's just a really fun product to use and I love the result I get from it. So I would definitely recommend that. And then as far as other favorites go, I feel like, I don't know, I have a lot of like combos, like products I use together that I've really been liking. So the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation. I talked about this foundation before like way back when but I started reaching for it more because it's just such, like such an effortless foundation a lot of my foundations I have to reach for a blending sponge to just pat them in but this is great because you can do I even I don't have the brush up here but I've been using an it cosmetics um, I think it's the flawless finish brush and the, a little bit of the foundation and it just buffs into your skin so nicely I don't know why but most foundations when I use a foundation brush they just go on streaky they're not smooth but I can buff this into my skin and it just gives the most like flawless dewy finish i'm wearing it today and i love that it's like medium coverage but you can build it up with some concealer so it's an easy foundation to wear i just love that i can put some onto a brush throw it on and it just blends in nicely and you always get that like flawless look and i always catch myself throughout the day like looking into the mirror like oh my gosh my skin actually doesn't look dry it looks nice and moisturized if i feel like this really hydrates your skin as well this does have spf of 18 so you get some extra spf coverage obviously it's not enough you want to apply some extra spf underneath this to get full coverage but i think it's great that you just have some extra protection with this but my favorite part about this is just that luminous dewy finish you get from this it's just so nice especially in the summer because i don't know you don't want at least I don't like that heavy cakey look in the in the summer. This is just really nice. It's great for every day. The one negative to this, it does not last. And by the end of the day, you, you can see all my melasma, my sunspots are poking through. So if you're okay with not quite a long lasting foundation, you would like that. But I'm telling you, if you're into the, that dewy luminous look, that is beautiful. I love that foundation. But I've been using that foundation in conjunction with the Physicians Formula Spotlight Illuminating Primer. This is an awesome drugstore dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. The Flawless Filter, you get a little bit more of like a dewy look. This is definitely more radiant and glowy. Probably too glowy to wear on its own. It's really intense. The underneath foundation, oh my gosh, it just makes your skin look just that glow from within look, that lit from within, just that refreshed youthful glow. It's just so pretty. And this feels really moisturizing as well. For me, I don't know why a lot of glowy primers, I really feel like I need to pack on the hydration before I apply them. But this just, I don't know if I go in with a lightweight moisturizer before this adds some extra moisture as well. And it just like plumps out your skin. It makes it feel moisturized. And I just love that radiant look that this gives. It's so pretty. So love that. And then another product that has been making my life so much easier is this Jouer. This is the high coverage liquid concealer. I have the shade Wheat, but I like this because I really don't have to worry about 
the prep so much with this concealer. A lot of concealers, I really have to make sure I'm super moisturized underneath my eyes, but this, you can apply it even if you're feeling super dry and it really doesn't accentuate any lines. Now this says it has a soft matte finish, which I was a little leery about with my skin being dry. I thought it would enhance texture and enhance my fine lines, but it really doesn't. I do get a little bit of creasing with this. It's not completely creaseless. I mean, what concealer is really, to be honest? But I just really like the moisturization I get from this. And it does have hyaluronic acid in here as well. So you're getting those humectant properties. It's really going to hold on to water. It's going to just pack in the moisture underneath your eyes. So I really appreciate that. There's good ingredients in here. And it's a great high coverage concealer. The coverage is so impressive. I'm all about a high coverage concealer that doesn't look cakey and this just fits the bill. It's just a great concealer, one of my favorites. And you can get Jouer at Sephora now as well, so which is great. It's really accessible. I love that line. They have a lot of great products. I want to try out their lip creams. They have so many pretty colors in their lip products. So yeah, I want to try out more products from Jouer, but so happy with that concealer. I'm curious about the foundation as well. It's also a high coverage foundation. I've heard really good things about that, but the concealer I'm just loving. It's great for on the go. It looks good by itself too because it really blends in nicely to your skin, but it works really well with a lot of other foundations. So really love that. And then another combo. I'm wearing this today on my lips. This lipstick is by Becca. This is in the shade Bear. This is from their Ultimate Lipstick Love Collection. And this is just a gorgeous pinky beige neutral. It's just so pretty. It's my like perfect, I know, I feel like I say this all the time, my perfect pinky nude. I know I wear pinky nudes all the time, but this adds like a little bit of that brownie tone, a little bit of warmth. And these lipsticks feel just so luxe on your lips. They feel like truly like a high-end lipstick. I tried on some Tom Ford lipsticks. I never took the plunge and bought it because I can't imagine spending $54 on a lipstick, maybe one day, but uh, these literally feel exactly like a Tom Ford lipstick. But I remember trying those on and being so impressed with how they felt. I'm like, wow, these really do feel like high quality. And these feel exactly the same, that you get that like buttery, smooth, silky consistency. They're super rich going on. Now they don't hold up really long because of, you know, they're so creamy, but they have a great range of shades. They feel great on the lips and I just love them. I want to get more shades. I have my eye on Sugar as well. And also I have Yours Truly from the Chloe and Malika line. And I saw that that's on sale now. I think it's $14 at Ulta. So definitely get your hands on that. That's a great like brownie beigey nude. That one's really pretty. But if you want a little bit more of a pinky peach nude, this one is great. I just love this color. And I have been loving that with the Glossier. This is the Fenty Gloss Bomb in the shade Fussy. Or, I don't know, Fussy with dollar signs. I don't know what that's about, but I think it's fussy. But anyway, this is such a pretty lip gloss and I regretfully had this in my fails and one of my favorites and fail monthly videos. I think because I tried it on by itself and I'm just like, all right, it's an everyday lip gloss. I saw this on Rihanna's lips and her lips just looked like amazingly like shimmery pink and the color was just gorgeous on its own it doesn't give my boring lips that like gorgeous pinky shimmer that it does on rihanna's lips it just looks so, looks so pretty on her lips that's what got me to buy this but on top of other lipsticks oh my gosh so let me just show you guys what i'm talking about this is just so good and they it feels so just luscious on the lips again this is like a super buttery product too it feels mm, and, and it's just like such a treat to apply throughout the day. It's so pretty. But yeah, on its own, I'm just like, ah, it looks like an everyday gloss. But on top of other lipsticks, it's just, it brings out the pinkiness of other lipsticks. And the shine is just like undeniable. I just, and I love how this feels on the lips. It's just so great. I love just reaching for this in my purse. This is just so fun. But when I first bought it, I just didn't see the hype because it just didn't look like much on my lips. But I'm a huge fan of it now and I can't get enough of it. So is that it for my monthly favorites? I think that is it. I hope you guys enjoy this. I love talking about makeup. I feel like I've been doing a lot of skincare videos. Let me know if there's any makeup specific videos you guys are interested in. I love doing a dupe video. I have a few of those on my radar as well. So yeah, I'd love to hear from you guys. Let me know your favorite makeup products for the month. And also let me know your thoughts on these clothing subscriptions. Are there any that you've tried? Are there some that you like more than others? But yeah, I'm really excited about this fashion subscription. It seems like their quality is really great and the pricing, you cannot beat it. So super excited. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys.